CrossFitTraining.com here in the bag workout section. Today, we're using our boxing to set up our knees. There's no better weapon to use to get those knees and to damage them. Our boxing gets the hands up, our knees gets the finish. So let's get on the bag. And in round one, we're gonna start with our basic combinations to get the knees. Now, the basic one is we're just gonna pop our jab, okay? So using our jab to get underneath. Now, when I'm doing this jab, I'm not looking to do power jabs, crazy jabs, and really set in it. All I'm trying to do is kind of use a rhythm jab, a single, a double, anything that gets the arm to raise up. Now, especially if you're fighting someone who's got really tight elbows here, you want to use the nice high jab, hit the forehead to get them to either pop up or to lift their hands up to get to that knee. Now, just keep popping. I like single into double into my rear knee, okay? and just keep that rhythm, keep moving around the bag as well. Now, from this little bit, I want you to also add in hooks, okay? And it's gonna be off of the lead hand. So you can throw either a jab into a knee, move your feet, I can throw a hook rear knee, I can maybe put them together, jab, hook into a knee, and just different sequences, all right? Now, even using an intelligent lead hand as you get more advanced, some of my favorite ways is throwing a hook into a jab to set up my knees, all right? So just keep moving around the bag using that lead hand to set up different rear knee combinations. Now, when I throw this knee, okay, I wanna take this to the next level. Now, when I knee, I wanna make it sharp. So I wanna put my heel to my butt, and ideally I point my toe, heel to my butt, that creates a sharp angle compared to here, sharp. Now I want to visualize, I can knee to the body, boom, or maybe a hook and I'll come knee to the head. So change the levels of your knees, all right? So lead hand, okay, into rear knee. Now what we're going to mix now is using the rear hand to set up, okay? So from here, what I like to do is my rear hand, my cross, will set up my switch kick. Now, you can throw it as a jab cross, switch knee, okay? Or you can just throw your cross, it's totally up to you. But let's start to warm up the sequences because as the rounds go on, it's, we're gonna pick up the level, the intensity, and the type of combinations, all right? So, rear hand, boom, cross, sets up the switch knee. Okay, one, two, switch knee. Now, even when I do these drills, okay, especially when it comes to my left knee, sometimes I'm not even gonna punch the bag. I'm gonna stay outside and be long. See how long I am? And then when I go to knee, I'll step into a left knee. So not only is it important to punch in mid-range, right, to get your, your knees from here, but in real, in real fighting, people move. There's angles, there's distance control and management. So sometimes I'm long, one, two, step knee. Sometimes I'm in range. When you're close to your partner for the left knee or your opponent, you switch because they're close and you want to generate power. Boom. As they move away, I step. All right. Now, I know I don't have much space here, but like even with a left knee, if my bag moves, right, I can come here back step into a knee, okay? So there's different variations to throw those knees, all right? Now, let's get right into mixing lead hand, rear knee, and then different combinations to go rear hand switch knee. Remember, play with ranges, even on my right knee. If I can't touch the bag, okay, I don't wanna throw a knee where I fall forward. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tie hop, okay? So I box here, I tie hop into a rear knee, all right? So I'm outside, I cross step left knee. I use my lead hand, tie hop into a rear knee, all right? So you see how important footwork is, the closing of distance, right? We have to get to that range, all right? So you're gonna practice them in close, and then separate outside and do it long. If I were to do this as a fight sequence and visualizing a fight, I would start long, okay? So I'm out long and using fainting. My lead hand sets up a tie hop into a rear knee. I create long distance again. I start boxing, one, two, step, left knee. Now after outside, I'm gonna stay inside now, right? I'm closer, so now I don't need a tie hop for my right knee, boom. Now to get power on my left knee, I switch instead of step. 
So there's a big difference in using boxing to knees mid, and there's a difference between using boxing to knees on the outside. Now, even using that rear hand, sometimes you can throw that rear punch. So I can go rear hook into the switch knee, no problem. Inside hook to knee, and play that range. Now, this is the classic way of setting up your punches, right? Now, it's also important that you want to be unorthodox with your combinations. And a simple way to get unorthodox with it, okay, is using same side. So I might go, maybe I go right hook, right knee, okay? Or I go jab into a switch knee, hook, switch knee, cross, right knee. So I'm giving different rhythm, different tempo, different sides. That'll mix things up, okay? So let's go on that a little bit. So I can go jabs into switch knees, or I go cross, I can go tie hop to the rear knee, or I can stay inside, boom. All right, now there's even more to this, right? Now we're just sewing lead hand or rear hand a one, two. Now we can get creative with our combinations and with our level changes. So I might go head, body, boom. I might go for the body. I might go head body into my knees. I might stay in, come long, boom, step, come inside, boom. So let's start playing inside, outside, hooks, body change, uppercuts. Let's get nice and creative, okay? And just remember, sometimes you're outside, I'm not even close to the bag, I can't even touch it. I step into it, boom, okay? I step into it, boom. I exit, sometimes I'm inside, head to head, boom, different combinations. Boom, okay? Not only that, when I'm on the inside, head to head, right? I can play pet knees, round knees into my boxing. Boom, so I'm changing angles. Sometimes I'm in here, I might throw an angle here. I might come here, step to a pet knee upstairs, into a switch knee, bang, right? I'm gonna play with angles, body, head, different types of setups head, body, head, tie, hop, skin, skip steps. You understand how it works, all right? So the important thing is visualization. The hands are one of the best tools and strategies for you to get to those knees, all right? Now, a lot of times we think about knees of being in the clinch or these big flying ones, but those are more rare. I feel your IQ, your level, and your finishing ability would be that much better if you can box intelligently to set up your knees, all right? Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. We'll see you next time here at bazookatraining.com. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Veltellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.